Yeah, there you are. Hi. How I'm are good. you? How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm so glad we figured out the technology. <laughs> no, me too. <laughs> You'd think with the past year, with all the Zooms and all the virtual meetings and everything, it would be easier, but it's always, always. Easy. That's right. <laughs> Anyways, I was, I, let me introduce you and tell you what we're doing and what's going on. Um, this is Therm Apparel Testimonials and on Facebook Live. And today we're going to talk to Tiffany Talent, who is most notably is an actor and most notably known for her voice acting for Star Trek The Continuing Mission. She's an illustrator, her mom, and her just published a book called Because You Are Mine, and it's available on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble. And we'll put a link down in the comment section when we're done today. And she loves to be outside, hiking, walking, running, and you just signed up for your first 5K, okay. which is amazing. <laughs> because nine and a half years ago, Tiffany was diagnosed with MS, and as majority of us know, MS and heat and running and all that don't go together very well. So that's incredible. So I know we have a lot of things we want to talk about, but how did you hear about Thermopearl? Well, um, you know, when I was first diagnosed, I didn't, I didn't know a whole lot about the heat intolerance. Uh, I just kind of heard that that was a symptom, but I didn't really know what it, it entailed until I was on this um, Facebook group and it had a lot of people and they were talking about heat intolerance and then they were talking about cooling vests. And I was like, oh, you know, that, when they were say, talking about the symptoms, I thought, okay, that sounds like me. And that sounds like me for like a long time. Like as long as I can remember, I've had these problems. It explains a lot. So I started looking uh, online and I was just going through it. And I think at the time it was probably Amazon. And I saw um, that you had something that looked like what I needed and also something small enough um five feet tall <laughs> um so a lot of the vests that i saw and cooling devices i saw were really bulky and big and i thought okay well you know i'm a former dancer i perform you know nothing really fit my lifestyle and then i saw that and i was really interested and so uh, i wound up going through your website instead and you were just a dot net back then yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was a, it was a long time ago. So I, you know, I had found it that way, and then I thought, okay, this is this is what I need, and um, I got it, and I was right. <laughs> yeah, so. Well, we're so glad that it's helping oh, you. Oh yeah, it's incredible. And you're you're gonna wear it when you do your first five k. Uh, yeah, I'm actually. <laughs> Okay, so we have our thermostat set at 72 when I came upstairs to do this and I thought, okay, it's too hot up here. So I went downstairs. I'm actually wearing it right now. <laughs> it's like, okay, wait, I can, I can combat that, you know, because a lot of the times the heat would just, I would say it would erase my brain. You know, I would just take mm -hmm. the dog out and I would feel like I was just gone. Like I just needed to recoup from that. And, you know, so it's made all the difference. And did you notice your fatigue level changing? Oh, well, absolutely. I mean, I remember in high school, they kind of thought, you know, they weren't sure what was wrong with me. I would go running and I would be like really fast and do really good. And then I would just wear out so quickly though. And they thought, mm -hmm. okay, maybe it's her asthma. Cause I was like, I just get so tired. I just am exhausted after, you know, a lap around the track. I feel great and then I'm done. And I realized it was because I was getting hot. And now I can go running in 77 degrees and 90% humidity. And, you know, I come back and I'm not wiped out. I can still, that's first thing in the morning. I can function for the rest of the day still. It's not, it doesn't do me oh. in. That's wonderful. Yeah. That is absolutely well, that kind of moves us into our, our next question is, uh, what did you want to do, but you were having a hard time doing because of the heat? Um, if it was hot or really above the, my threshold is about the 72 degrees. So if it's anything above that and I'm moving around and I, you know, exerting myself, it was hard to do a lot of the time. Um, so, you know, it really has helped with everything, especially like taking dogs out. I live in the South. 
Um, I've lived in the South my whole life, um, all over, you know, Tennessee, and now I'm in South Carolina, and it's hot a lot and humid. And I, the day that I got my first vest, I remember I had just taken the dog out, and I was so frustrated when I saw the package come up. I just, I cried <laughs> when I got oh. it because I was just so relieved i was like okay it doesn't have to be like this anymore and it's just so easy to put on and everything i you know it's supposed to go under your clothes but it can go over your clothes you know under you know however you want to wear it it's just so easy you know to just grab it out of the freezer and and go and take the dog out and then not feel you know that exhaustion after and um it's helped me with you know my acting um, I remember getting cast in a in a show, and I was I was cast as Snoopy, which was a lot of I, I love I love Snoopy. I've I've done um, I've played Lucy before in other shows, and so this was this is really fun. And I have a beagle, too. And, oh. But I was worried <laughs> because I knew I was going to be under those lights and makeup and a mm -hmm. full costume. There was no, you know, but I had my best. I had my white best, and so. I wore that and I had more energy than anyone else on the stage. And I was the only one with MS, you know, and I was running circles, literally running circles around them. Um, you know, and it, it was a fun, it was a lot of fun and it made it so I didn't have to worry about that. And it's, it's made it so I don't have to worry about a lot of things like, oh, well, I don't have to worry about that. I have my best. I can do that. Uh, That's <laughs> yeah. wonderful and um so one of the things we've been talking about is um is running and so really recently um and this is kind of how we connected was mm -hmm. um because i mean i when i say that i love my best i'm not i'm not kidding um anytime anybody I, talks about being too hot or anybody with MS asked about heat intolerance. I'm like, my best, I saved me, it's, it saved me, it's wonderful. Um, you know, I, I, they have like a, my most commonly used things, when I type in www, it's like comes up third apparel because mm -hmm. they know that I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell people to go there. Um, but it's just come, come in so handy to me. And um, so, you know, we had recently moved well not recently we moved during covid and um my first cooling packs actually um and a lot of stuff had got left behind in west tennessee and they were all supposed to come you know get reunited with us at some point but those did not make it um and not by any just the person who was helping us didn't realize we kind of told them what they were but they didn't realize that what was so important and so they didn't they didn't make it and i thought all oh, last year you know oh i'm i'm okay i live near the beach it's not i didn't you know i didn't realize how much i missed it until i got it i got the the 2.0 this year and the extended cool i have i just swapped out it took a minute and a half by the way to get it out of the freezer swap out my cooling packs and put the other ones back in and put it on Oh, yeah, that's how long it took no. me. It was a minute and a half. Um, so it was, um, oh, I just saw Jay. I know him from my MS group. Hi, Jay. Um, no, I'm not doing that one. That's a 10K. I'm doing the um, Isle of Palms connector run is the one I'm doing with my dad. So he's excited. When are, when it's is in October. Race? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're training? For yeah, so I'm training for it. And so, you know, last year I didn't realize until I got it, my new one this year, I was like, oh my gosh, I miss this mm -hmm. so much. <laughs> I can do so much more, you know, I'm stronger than I've ever been, you know, since I was, you know, dancing three times a week, you know. So it's been, it's been really great, but all of that aside, all the wonderful health things aside, it's done for me. I think the greatest thing, and he's right over here, is uh, on one of my runs back in May. Um, I was I was doing running. It was hot. There was no way I would have gone without my vest. So, you know, I had I had my vest. I had everything. I was listening to my my Bowie playlist, and I had it going, and um, yeah, I had it in my mind. This is okay. I always run this one circle, then I kind of stop and stretch, and then I go on another path. 
I said, when Space Oddity comes on, I'm going to stop and stretch and then go on my next path. Well, it came on and I stopped for that exact amount of time. I went on to the next path. And when I, as soon as I turn around to that next path, I see this kitten limp in front of me. Now, if anybody saw the picture, you see, you couldn't, I wouldn't have seen him unless he walked in front of me. But since I had an earbud in, um, I wouldn't have heard him if I hadn't seen him. So it was just perfect timing and I wouldn't have been out there without my vest. So I saw this little injured kitten and I picked it up and um, long story short, we've got, okay, yeah, I know. <laughs> this is Major Tom. Oh my goodness, look at that guy. And he is the sweetest, sweetest baby ever. And um, I mean, he's just awesome and really so i mean thank you guys because without you and he really was i mean on his ninth life if i hadn't found hadn't found him that day he he probably wouldn't have made it he had been hit by a car you could see his little tiny tail oh my goodness <laughs> he's um his he's had a fractured pelvis which is healing up he's going to get some x-rays soon to make sure it's all healed he's going to have to have probably another surgery to pull his hip back into place because even though he's running and jumping his hip is dislocated mm -hmm. and he's missing a tendon in his leg so he's just amazing and we are just so oh. happy that that we were able to find him He's beautiful. Thank He's absolutely. I know when you contacted us and you were telling us about this story, I turned around to the guys and I'm like, "We saved a kitten. Our vest saved a kitten." The <laughs> turkey. That is so awesome. That is such a great story. And he's doing good. I saw the pictures of him with the uh, the cone of shame. And yes, he actually used that to his advantage. He knew that it was loud on the door. And uh, so when he wanted out of his little uh, bathroom at night, because we have to keep him up at night because he is into everything, and his little tail had to heal, it's so he would bang the cone on the door because he knew it was loud and we would have to go get him. <laughs> it's like 4 <laughs> o'clock in the morning. He's like, I'm up. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. Let me up. So we would. Because it's just wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. I'm so glad the vest is helping you, and I'm so glad the vest helped Major Tom, oh, too. And we love <laughs> All of us in the office are cat people. We all have cats, and so it's it's very hard. Oh, that that's we wonderful. I love it. All right, buddy. <laughs> so because of the vest, you were out training. Mm -hmm. Because of that, you found that's Major right. Tom. I if I hadn't had my vest, I wouldn't have been training that morning. I would have been like last year. I would have gone to our workout room and I would have been running there. Mm -hmm. And not as fun. And I really didn't do that that much because I, being outside is so much better. <laughs> yeah, really. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Well, and last year was so hard for everybody. Yeah. Just twenty twenty was a total loss. Right. <laughs> So I'm glad you were able to get out and get going and that you're still continuing to train and that the best is helping you do that. I've got I, I've got another question for you. I said, what's the difference between using your vest and not using your vest in daily life? Is there an example that you can give me? Sure. Like walking the dog, not walking the dog versus... Well, I mean, walk. and even it's it's a thing is, you know, there's every once in a while I'll be like, oh, it's it's not that hot or the dog is not going to take that long it doesn't matter if it's 90 degrees outside if you know you go outside you know that's the risk i take if i go outside and it's it's, it's hot and i don't put it on and there's times that i i take it just because you know oh she's going to go so bad i'm just going to take her she's going to be real fast and it's five minutes and i'm you know if i wish i had taken that 30 seconds to you know wrap myself in you know the minute and a half well that was to change the packs out that was oh, to, okay. to take it out of the fridge change from the extended cool to the slim cool and then put it uh the extended cool back away and put it on 
That's so cool. I'm so glad you timed that because I wouldn't even have thought. And you know what? That's probably going to be a question. We get the most amazing questions on our live chat all the time. You know, it's like that will probably be right? a question that comes up. I can tell them. <laughs> See, it's probably I gonna... timed it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what else have you noticed that have you noticed your fatigue level or uh, difference in your fatigue level? A difference in the amount of activity that you can and cannot do or anything else that you want to tell I mean, us? All of, all of the above, but I would just say that like in general, it probably just makes me happier too, because I would get angry when I would go outside. I mean, and I will, uh, I can't do it now because I'm on my phone, but I can send you a picture and it's actually the first time I put my vest on. And the picture is, it, it's such an example of how I felt before and kind of the relief I was feeling because it looks like my head is being erased by the sun and that I'm screaming <laughs> at it. And I just saw this, I was trying to take a picture of my vest and then I saw this and it was just such an example that I kind of being the artist had to, had to take it. So, but you can see I've got my vest on in the picture. Um, but I would just get angry, you know, being hot. I get, I get frustrated because you just don't understand necessarily. You know that you've got a heat intolerance, but you don't know that it's 74 degrees and you're kind of starting to wear out and your brain is starting to get fuzzy that you don't, you know, you're just you get frustrated and angry. So even just, you know, having that, it, not that stress and it's it's wonderful not to have that stress of thinking okay am i going to be too hot doing this thing because no i'm not um i don't know if anybody's <laughs> ever been to the jack daniels distillery but my husband and i went and it was like 90 degrees outside and it was so hot in some of the buildings that they um everybody was coming out and thinking the 90 degrees was cold you're like, oh, it's so, we're so nice. It was like 140 degrees. I have, I don't remember, but it was well over 100 degrees. And I'm the only one enjoying myself. <laughs> Everybody's sweating and everything. I'm like, oh, this is really, this is interesting. You know, this is great. You know, it was, you know, so just things like that. I, if I had, I wouldn't have been able to go if I had seen 140 degrees. I'd been like, I'm out. There's no way I could have even thought about going. There's a lot of things that I would just wouldn't even consider doing if I didn't have my best, you know, places I'd be like, oh, no, that's, that's too high. I, you know, I'm not doing that. Well, what, that's, that's a good, that's a good thought. Like, what kind of places and for some people that don't understand what, I mean, they think heat intolerance, how you exercise, you overheat, you get uncomfortable, but Tell us what happens with MS and heat intolerance. How long do you have? What are some of your warning signs? And well, for me, I really, uh, I just start to really, like I said, get fresh. If my first thing that goes is my thinking. It's like my brain just starts getting all mumbled up and it's like, okay, you know, your words kind of start to go, you start getting frustrated and angry. And you start getting really tired. Like my muscles would just feel like they're just, you know, mud, you know, it's like, what am, you know, you're just walking through, you know, almost like the ocean, the entire, you're working against something. Um, it's almost like melting, just being drained. Like if you're, you know, your battery's on zero and your phone starts like saving different things, your body kind of starts picking and choosing like, okay, you've got to do this. So your brain is not functioning because you know, you at least have to walk back to the car. You know, your legs have to function <laughs> so your brain might not function as well. I mean, it's, it just kind of feels almost like you're shutting down and, mm -hmm. um, you know, it really prevents that from happening. And, you know, when you do have that shutting down and you've had that for so long, it's something you start to avoid things and, and things start to make you nervous. I just don't feel that way anymore. Oh, that's so good. Well, what were the things that you were avoiding? What just simple activities well, or I, complicated activities? You know, it, there were, you know, you know, for example, just exercising in general, because I mean, even in the, the workout room, it wasn't that cold. It wasn't the 72 degrees that I like it or colder when I'm working out, um, you know, things like that 
even taking the dogs out in the afternoon or something, be like, oh, honey, you've got to do that. <laughs> it's too hot. You know, hiking, just, just general things, even, you know, being, walking around outside in a downtown area would be difficult for me. Um, you know, I would, so just yeah. walk outside. Just any, anything is... that, that you're going to be hot, <laughs> it, it helps with, and it's helped me with, and those are the kind of things that I would either avoid or just kind of has to be miserable through, you mm -hmm. know, and it would just, you just kind of look, okay, well, I don't know, you know, and before I was diagnosed, I didn't know why. So like, I don't know. I just can't move right now. It's just nothing's working. <laughs> Which is scary. Yeah. It can be just how oh, frightening. Very. And so I, I can't even imagine. It would, oof. <laughs> but the vest has let you escape the house. It lets you get outside. Yeah. You could obviously running. You found Major Tom. Yeah, Major Tom. I can enjoy. I can enjoy the sun. I don't have to be, you know. I don't have to to worry about the heat at all. And you know, then one thing, and this this might not be something that that y'all think of. And I just I just thought about um, something that bothers me. Um, and I'm sure you think of it, but that some people that get concerned that with the vest being snug would be um, triggering the hug. The, the MS right. hug, it, um, for me, I get triggered when I, uh, this is going to sound, when I have something super tight, like around here, you know, traditional, you know, underwire, under, just, no, I can't, it triggers a hug and I just feel awful, it's terrible. Mm -hmm. This doesn't do that um, because of how it's like distributed. It's snug, but it's not tight. It moves with you. Mm -hmm. It's not restricting. It almost like people might look at it and be like, oh, it kind of looks like a corset or something. No, 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 no. I've worn those before. <laughs> this is nothing like that. It's super comfortable. Um, like I said, I go and run. So if anybody saw the picture, do with like yoga stuff. I do ballet stretches in the park wearing it. I mean, so it's great because it moves with you. It just really fits my lifestyle. Whereas I didn't find anything else that I thought you know, would come close to it. And it, and so if anybody's concerned about, you know, the hug and it being super tight for that, it, as someone who usually gets that triggered by tight garments, this doesn't do that to me. Um, Cause I think it's, you know, so adjustable to how you do it and it just moves so well with you. And like I said, how it's distributed, you know, the weight of the, it's not weight. I mean, it's nothing. It's what, <laughs> like two pounds or less. Um, it's distributed so evenly. It's not like putting all this pressure on any place. And it's really like, you don't even notice that you're wearing it. So. Oh, that's so yeah. awesome. I would just would love hearing from our customers and the amazing stories that they have. But I think yours is one of the best.